Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is the 26th of January 2020. I want to tell you about our new developments at Biophysica in commercial production. The, the reason we or I developed the commercial units is to provide a much higher voltage to overcome the problem of Ohm's law. Ohm's law is V equals IR. So that's an easy way to remember it, VIR. Voltage equals I is current, R is resistance. But current is what we are more interested in when we're doing with work with electrolysis and electrodes and releasing ions, atoms, and nanoparticles from metal surfaces. The metals are positively charged. That plate is called the anode. And the, the atoms rele are released from the anode and try to get over to the cathode, but we have a circulating pump that prevents the atoms from plating onto the cathode. That way we get a suspension in the water of atoms and clusters of atoms called nanoparticles. I'll just explain a nanoparticle is different from an, a an atom. An atom generally has a, a charge and a metal atom is, has a positive charge so it's a cation. A nanoparticle or a cluster, in our case, generally has a negative charge. So we've got negative and positive entities floating around. So, now that's why when you do a conductivity measurement, as with a, a conductivity meter here, like this is a HANA a one, a very useful one, which I sell and you can buy on Amazon. This will tell you the conductivity of the water, how easy it is for current to flow. H unfortunately, it measures the average of the atoms and the nanoparticles, so they tend to cancel out each other. So I've found that what you read on the micro Siemens meter, because that's the measurement, what you read here is usually low. There are usually much more metal atoms and ions in the water than the conductivity meter would indicate. So, but before you start, it's very, very important. Make a measurement of the water you're using. Uh, if it's RO water or if it's distilled water, those are the two uh, suitable ones. Some people use deionized or pharmaceutical grade water. And this is why I've redesigned my equipment now so that I have a higher voltage to overcome Ohm's law. Uh, because the resistance is so high that it prevents current from flowing unless we have a high voltage. It goes like that. So I have uh, higher voltages now in all of my uh, equipment, particularly as high as uh, two, over 200 volts now for, for extremely pure water that would not otherwise not conduct current. And it's current that releases the atoms and nanoparticles. If the current is too high, if it's more than one or two milliamps per square inch of area, then you get large particle clusters, large nanoparticles. And if they're too large, if they're more than 20 nanometers, they will not pass through the barriers of the different organs like the brain, the blood-brain barrier. So, so we want to get these silver and gold and zinc and magnesium, iron, etc. We want to get those nanoparticles into the brain and into the other essential organs where they'll do their work. They carry this ch electrical charge, a negative charge called zeta, zeta potential. You, you can read about that on Wikipedia. And it's that zeta potential that is so powerful that it breaks through a biofilm and, and it, it can inactivate viruses and bacteria very rapidly, uh, almost instantaneously. So that zeta potential is important. We have one of the highest zeta potentials. I've worked hard to make sure that we have a high uh, negative zeta potential of about minus 60 uh, millivolts. So let me uh, move on. This, this is one of our ionizing machines, devices, instruments. This is a two-channel model. 
uh, two channels because two channels turns out to be a very useful uh, combination. Uh, one can be used for silver, the other can be used for gold or any other metal. And now uh, we, we recently developed the Electrum project. Electrum is the ancient alchemist's elixir of immortality. So now I, I can put silver and gold, one, sil uh, one silver, one gold, and the two kinds of atoms combine at an atomic level to give us extremely powerful, effective electrum. Um, so, and uh, this is the, the meter that will indicate the current in each channel, because you want to know this is the current display meter. It tells you how many milliamps uh, are flowing through your electrodes. And if you're using um, these large plate electrodes, these are six inch by eight inch. This, these are silver, solid silver electrodes. Or if you're using copper, copper electrodes, again, these will take uh, th these are six by eight, which is forty-eight square inches. So they'll they will take fifty to a hundred milliamps, but don't go more than a hundred milliamps. Otherwise, you're impairing the quality. And these these electrodes hang down from from this crossbar. These plug in here or here, so that they they hang down across a bucket, and you have two of them. So you'd have a pair of copper and a pair of uh, silver and they they hang down like that uh, we, we've got these holes designed so that if your water is extremely pure you can make the resistance of the water less more conductive in other words so you can move them closer so you get you get a much you can get a much higher current for rapid production. Many of my customers are doing commercial production. They, they may need to make hundreds or thousands of liters a day. So this will allow them to drive the electrodes as hard as they can to get a higher vo daily volume while still maintaining quality. Now this bar uh, sits across a bucket. This is a small bucket. Uh, it can sit across. You can get two of them, but there are big buckets as as big as 50 or 55 gallons. So you'd have many of these crossbars with many electrodes hanging down into the bucket. Now the bucket also has to have a pump. This is a immersible low voltage pump, 12 volt pump. 12 volt being safe. We don't put 110 or 220 volts into our water. So this is a, uh, an immersible DC 12 volt pump that keeps the water circulating around so that the, the atoms and ions don't accumulate on the cathode, the negative plate, and making it uh, uh, impairing the, the, the current. They would raise the, the resistance. So we have another smaller uh, commercial generator here. This is our smallest commercial generator. Again, two channels with a digital readout of the current in milliampers uh, through, through either channel. So we can switch le uh, channel two, channel one, and then the lights indicate. This is the, f the flashing light is the clock that generates the switching, the alternating polarity, which is a self-cleaning process. Uh, the the two plates alternately become positive and negative, and then they switch over positive and every 20 seconds or so. That way, anything that has accumulated on the cathode gets burned off on the next cycle. So r remember that the, the the water you buy is so important. Personally. We use, we use reverse osmosis water. Uh, make sure that if you're using an RO unit, reverse osmosis, don't get one that has a cartridge that adds more minerals. We want to remove the minerals, but not right down to zero. Some are so efficient 
that you have to reprogram your RO unit. And how you do that is you throttle down the output, the, um, re the discarded water, throttle it down so that the water goes more into your filtered side. So we're getting 15 microsiemens conductivity from our RO system, and that's just perfect to get a good current flowing through, th through the water. Uh, we'll move on now to talk about the domestic units. Uh, here is a domestic unit I'm working on today, for example. Uh, this is the, the stirrer keeps the water moving, so instead of a submersible pump, the stirrer prevents the atoms from clinging to or depositing on the cathode. See, in this case, I'm doing colloidal gold and silver. So I've got a silver electrode and a gold electrode, and they're combining the, the, at an atomic level to make electrum. And our, the new domestic unit looks like the old one with the same digital readout, the same box, the same control, the same control for the current. So you can turn the current right down to the lowest level, about 6 milliamps, which is extremely low, and you'll get extremely high quality of the smallest nanoparticles, around 1 or 2 nanometers, which were highly effective against um, just about every virus and bacteria, and also many other uh, molds, fungi, chlamydia, yeasts, so, so that, and then you can, for more, you have a quality versus quantity control. So if you want to put more current through the electrodes, it'll go faster. And this is a, a new high voltage model. My previous voltage was 48 volts. It wasn't quite enough for distilled water. So now this one is up to uh, 60 volts, 60 volts which is much more effective. But if, if, it's, if your water is too pure, then you really have to go to uh, a much higher voltage, like a this is a 140 volts model. There's a hundred vo uh, 90 volts, 140 volts, there's 220 volts. So these are options for uh, commercial uh, work, particularly if, if it's for farmers if it's spraying a field they they need to have uh, very much uh, very high volume, so they need these big big electrodes hanging down, and maybe multiple pairs. So you've got multi-channel, maybe mul many of these double-channel controllers, so that you can get the volume that you want. And and they are driven by the, as 12 and 24 volts, so c they can be put on a truck as a truck goes around the farm spraying. They could be making the, the colloidal liquid ongoingly, uh, if they want. Um, I, d I mentioned about the separation distance. These, uh, the, the plates can be brought closer together, thereby making the, the water more conductive, thereby increasing the current. Uh, here are some of the, the bottles that we, we can produce as samples. This is an Electrum, bottle of Electrum. Electrum is the combination of silver and gold. If you read up about, do a Google search on Electrum, you'll find historically, for thousands of years, alchemists and scientists realized the benefit of silver and gold combined. It seemed to have benefits for immortality. But something else I've been experimenting with lately, uh, people who have tried it have found it uh, very effective. It's, it's a combination of two other precious metals that we often use in our industry, uh, palladium and platinum. Platinum is good for the brain as, as gold is, but this is platinum, palladium combined. The only other thing to mention is uh, nebulizer for people who have respiratory problems. They, you can fill, fill the little chamber with the colloidal silver or the electrum. And in fact, 
I think you should always be taking electrum. If you're going to take silver, why not take gold at the same time and vice versa? Because the combo, you, separately, they have their own function, but together they have a synergistic superior function. Only recently I discovered that colloidal gold and colloidal copper uh, and colloidal zinc and colloidal silver, all four have benefits against viruses and boost the immune system. So it makes sense to have a, an elixir that con contains all of these combined. And work, that's one of my latest projects. But this inhaler, when you plug it in, you get nebulized uh, silver, a cloud of nebulized silver water coming out. And you go down into the base of your lungs, down to the alveoli where you might be getting pneumonia. And this will help get the colloidal silver where it's needed into the depths of your lungs. So I thank you for watching today and uh, feel free to phone or email me anytime.